Tasty, tasty. Okay. First story of the day is properly titled, um, YouTube is attacking like thousands of people, taking away millions of ad revenue from independent content creators because of one gay guy. I thought that was a funny title and it's also accurate. Um, so we're gonna get into the whole story. We're gonna talk about it from every angle. It started when this guy named Carlos Maza, AKA Gay Wonk, uh, I had to look up what Wonk meant. I was like, what is Wonk? Wonk is somebody who is attention to, or pays attention to every detail, especially in a political party. So Wonk is like someone that hyper analyzes stuff to make sure it's right. And uh, gay means either happy or that you like to have sex with men if you're a man and or if you're a woman, you're sexually attracted to women. Nowadays, gay means you identify as a sunflower seed, you can change genders, you know, you could dance upside down and uh, wear rainbow flags. I don't know what it means, but anyway, Carlos Maza is a writer for, uh, or a writer slash video producer for Vox.com. I'm not gonna spend too much energy or time on this guy, this stream, and then I'm pretty much over it. Vox, if you guys don't know, not Fox, Vox, V-O-X, is a far left-wing, far-left publication that pretty much specializes in racial, like everything is racial. Uh, it's very identity politics-y, even more so than most left-wing news. And according to his own um, Twitter bio, He's a Marxist pig. This is not me calling him this. Facebook, YouTube, don't delete my page. This isn't, you can see it here. That's why I got my laptop now. Marxist pig. Okay, we're gonna do some of that now. I'll, I'll try to up the production quality later and do something else. But um, yeah, and he say, it says Tucker Carlson is a white supremacist on his own Twitter bio. So he's a Marxist pig and Tucker Carlson, according to him, is a white supremacist. So the whole adpocalypse started when he tweeted this, and we're gonna play the video. This is why I bought this laptop, so I can do stuff like this. So I have pretty thick skin, says Carlos, when it comes to online harassment, but something has really been bothering me. Since I started working at Vox, Steven Crowder has been making video after video debunking strike through. Every single video has included repeated over attacks on my sexual orientation and ethnicity. Here's an example. So we're gonna watch this video by Crowder uh, apparently attacking his sexuality and ethnicity of Gay Wonk, a.k.a. Carlos Massa here. We'll watch it together. Before we get to the video, uh, with our favorite, favorite <laughs> lispy sprite <laughs> from Vox. It's ridiculous. It's bonkers. You're being given a free pass as a crappy writer because you're gay. That center line on his little queer graph there. <laughs> what is, what is well, that now line? the graph is queer? It's violence, filth. Okay, so the little queer could eat his chips all nonchalantly. It's code for rape, Mr. Queer <laughs> eating chips on the Vox channel. Mm -hmm. Chip, 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 but you can eat just one. Like Dex. <laughs> this is what Mr. Gay Vox wants to do. <laughs> Mr. Lispy Queer from Vox. What, what, what were you holding, Gay Latino from Vox? <laughs> Even his hand movement and fast motion is gay. Now we're here with the short-haired angry lesbian on Skype. <laughs> and cable news gay <laughs> bitching, two gay guys sitting there eating a banana. We get the symbolism <laughs> there. The truth is hiding in a closet two weeks later probably along to his next Pride Parade outfit. This guy on the gay semi-Latino Vox. Oh, okay, so really there's an angry little queer. All right, I can't deal with this Sprite anymore. Okay, he just sashays across without, a, like just, oh, the gay Vox Sprite is wrong. <laughs> so now he could be a tranny, your honor. But how many lispy, angry Sprites and Vox sashay across your screen and try and tell you otherwise? Or you, by the way, the gay Mexican guy. The gay Latino V-neck. Gay Mexican. Or Mexican gay guy used to work. Mexican oh, gay oh, Latino oh, there oh, at, oh, uh, at Vox. Oh, uh, gay Latino from Vox. <laughs> Token Vox gay atheist Sprite with surprise Surprisingly, surprisingly flaccid chest, considering how thin he is. It is it's very bizarre to me. Uh, ad hominem, yes, but it was an addendum to fat. Okay. Uh, if you guys are just joining, I hope, hopefully you enjoy my laptop. I just bought it so I could play video clips like that. And I'll try to get less creepy as we go on with the laptop. I was like holding it, like smiling to the side. I looked like a Jack Nic Nicol Nicholas or Nicholson in The Shining. One of, them, one of them's a golfer, one of them's an actor. You get it. Um, anyway... First off, I, I want to say just a personal note. I think I used to stop saying the word, f I don't f a g fag, because um, I you know it, it hurt people's feelings, and uh, you know at a certain point they're like stop using this word because rappers just use it. And I was like, all right, yeah, you're right, I'm gonna stop using it. But now that people are getting offended over anything, I feel like gay jokes are making a comeback. I used to think they were dumb, but now that people get so offended, I keep calling everything gay in my personal life because I think it's hilarious. Like, give you guys an example. I was on a cruise. And I kept telling everyone it was a gay cruise. It wasn't a gay cruise. But I was like, guys, you realize this whole cruise boat is gay. And they were like, what? I was like, 
dude, this is an LGBT cruise. You didn't you didn't read the flyer, and people were like, wait, is is am I in a gay cruise? Side note, I thought it was funny, but um, some people did, some people did it to each their own. Uh, overall, I want to say something about about this video. So, uh, I'll credit my friend Andrew Mayer, who is a don't don't taste me, bro, aka uh, young legend himself. He said, is gay, the word gay, becoming the new N-word where only gay people can say it, uh, but you can't actually say it. Uh, and I thought that was really, really smart and true because if you think about it, his name is Gay Wonk. So he's like, I'm gay, I'm gay, look, I'm gay. Gay's in, like, he has gay in his um, a at name on Twitter. They parade around for a month wearing rainbow flags. Like, look at me, I'm gay, I'm... I'm, uh, you know, very important and impressive and happy and thrilled about my sexual orientation and I march around for it for a month, so nobody's more proud of being gay than, than, than the gays. Uh, and I like saying the word gays. I know that makes people, I'm like, the gays. I say, I say it to my friends all the time uh, when the camera's off. I'm, I, I just say, the gays are really out there. They're like, what, 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 do you, what do you mean the gays? I, was, I just think it's so funny now that people are getting mad. I don't actually care. I just, I just think it's funny. Um, but. He identifies as gay, and then Steven Crowder calls him gay, the gay Latino guy, which he literally is. He's like, I'm gay, I'm Latino, I'm Latino, I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm Latino. And Crowder's like, you're a gay Latino. He's like, oh my God, oh my God, he called me a gay, he called me gay. Dude, it's in your Twitter name, bro. Gay Wonk, Carlos. <laughs> the left wing is so funny to me. I, I just can't get enough of it. I think it's great. I'm not mad at all. Um, so is, is gay, great question by my, my friend Andrew Mayer, is gay becoming the new n-word where only gay people can say it, but if you call gay people gay, uh, all of a sudden it's, it's hateful. And I just want to say as well, I guess, you know, he says he's making fun of his, um, I guess he's not even mad that Crowder made fun of his lisp. He's saying he's overt attacks on my sexual orientation and ethnicity. And this is the type of guy that reads... Uh, all sorts of reports where it's like straight white men are destroying the world. I hate straight white men. I hate straight white men. Did you just call me gay and Latino after I've spent three years only identifying as gay and Latino because there's nothing else really impressive about me so I have to hide behind my sexuality and uh, ethnicity? <laughs> it's so funny if you think about it. Um, but also, when it comes to the lisp, uh, someone, I I'll try to find the, um, I don't have it, but Adam22, he runs a big hip hop thing. He said, all of YouTube just got attacked because one, one guy with a lisp got made fun of. And the thing is, when you're, when you're in the public eye like myself, people make fun of me all the time. They say I look like a broke Jesus or like Anthony Kiedis. I think it's funny. And people say you're like a loser hippie or something. I don't mind, I don't like, a, doxing is not cool. A physical violence is not cool. Threats, are, those are not cool. Um, but making fun of my appearance or my voice, I, I honestly find it pretty funny. If it's a good joke. If it's not, then it's whatever. But overall, you know, what, what is this guy talking about? So we'll read what he said and we'll read what YouTube said because it makes absolutely no sense. And then we'll talk about how YouTube is literally bending the knee, uh, so to speak, or bending over, rather, because of one gay guy. I'm going to read my tweet earlier because I, I pretty much summed it up and I think it is legit hilarious. Um... Here, we'll, we'll go. So YouTube, this is what I said on Twitter. I said, YouTube proved what we all know, that liberal companies will literally throw aside their rules, stockholders, ethics, common sense, revenue, future, and popularity for one gay guy. <laughs> for one gay guy. Happy Pride Month, liberal companies. A rainbow marketing scheme won't save you from the truth. And you know how... They're like, look, I'm Budweiser. I love the gays. Or oh, I love the gays more. I'm Gillette. I love the gays the most. I'm a alcohol. Like, okay, we get it. You love the gays. Congratulations, Budweiser. I go to you to figure out what what uh, gender I am. I've always thought. I wonder. I wonder what uh what direction Budweiser can lead me into uh, sexually because I I look for my sexual preference and kinks in a uh, beer company that isn't even owned by the, the country that they, anyway. So this guy, this guy goes on a huge rant and then we'll talk about what YouTube said. Let me see, Carlos Maza, AKA Gay Wonk. So he's gay, he's Latino, he wants you to know about it, but if you call him gay or Latino, he'll consider a hate speech. This is awesome. All right, I've been called, I've been called anchor baby, a lisp queer, Mexican, etc. 
These videos have millions of views on YouTube. <laughs> that shouldn't be funny, but it is. Uh, every time one of them gets posted, I wake up to a wall of homophobic, racist abuse on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, last year, I got doxxed. Not cool. Doxing is not cool. And it scared the F out of me. My phone was bombarded with hundreds of text messages. That's not cool. And I do want to say, too, I don't think like targeting people via videos is very cool in a mean manner. However, if you look at the picture of this guy, should I bring it up? I don't want to. Here, we'll, we'll, we'll Google it so we can. That's why I got the laptop. He reminds me of the kid in gym class who always got picked last and was just such a pest. You know what I'm saying? Everyone had that guy where... I, I'm not a bully. I always um, I always fought against bullies. Like I would always protect the nerds. I was a nerd myself. I like video games and tennis. Um, but I was also cool enough to, to be somewhat cool. So, I, but I, you know, say I'm not a bully. But this guy just looked like the kid that everybody hated. Here, we're gonna look at a picture of him. That's Gay Wonk. Uh, and it's sad because I'm not even trying to do this. But this is we're gonna get into a lesson now as well of like. The law of attraction, and, and you get what you put out. So if you're a gay wonk and you constantly make like videos on Vox and you're constantly screeching and screaming about how bad white supremacists are and that everyone that disagrees with you is a fascist pig even though you call yourself a Marxist pig, this is what you get. You get Anomaly who wants to enjoy my day, sitting on a couch, like I, I don't, I don't wanna talk about you, I'm as nice as I, I could possibly be, but now I'm showing your video and calling you the kid in, in, in dodgeball that nobody likes, because it's probably true. It's like the law of attraction is very real. That's why I talk about self-accountability a lot. You can't control the world, but you can control yourself. And if you do that, you probably will get better outcome than, than gay wonk. Um, anyway, blah, blah, blah. I don't want to read all this crap. It's, it's just awful. He went on YouTube. Okay, I'll read this one. It's funny. YouTube does not give an F about queer creators. YouTube does not give an F about marginalized creators. YouTube does not give an F about diversity or inclusion. YouTube wants clicks. YouTube wants clicks. YouTube wants clicks. This, this is coming from Vox.com. And, uh, you know, writers like this will write for Huffington Post, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer is racist. No, it's about a reindeer with a red nose that didn't fit in, but he now fits in. It's the story of an underdog, you absolute psychopath. And... This is what uh, this is what happens when you pander to the left wing. That's why you never see me tripping like Bob Ross. Um, so we're we're gonna go into Vox.com, which is now on strike today. Vox, his his employment like media you know conglomerate, they're on strike because this is what happens at BuzzFeed and Huffington Post and Vox. We're gonna go through the pattern. All right, step one. You give jobs, well first, step one, you create a platform that's standing up for inver diversion, di or uh, diversity, inclusion. You know, you love the gays more than everybody and you're proud of it. You love the rainbow flag. You love Latinos, you love you love Hispanics more than everybody, you, you claim that. So you make this website and then you hire those people. You don't hire the best writers or the most, most impressive people. You don't hire people with self-accountability. You don't hire people that won't complain. You hire people based on their sexuality. You hire people based on their race. You hire people with your mindset that's gonna sit there like gay wonk and do all these videos about how everybody is a fascist pig who disagrees with them. And then you reap the, the, the non-benefits of what happens when you pander to leftists. You, you create a company filled with talentless victim mentality people who only identify based on their skin color and sexuality because they don't have anything else going for them. And then they tear you down because that's what people who lean towards socialism and communism do. They want everybody down. They're like, no, you're not paying me enough. The women aren't getting paid enough here. The gays are not making as much as the straights. The transgenders don't have enough representation. So this is what they do. Um, Carlos Maza says YouTube, who literally makes their entire career pandering towards gays and everybody, they don't care about the gays enough. So Vox is on strike and YouTube is about to literally throw their whole website away and billions of dollars in ad revenue because of one gay wonk. This is just what, this is what the left wing does. And um, I'm not trying, I know people say, Anomaly, I don't agree with you. Maybe, maybe you're more left wing, thank you for joining. But I wanna use an example before we move on. Because it really, you really got to think about this and consider it. Just consider what I'm saying, and you could throw it out the window after. But just think about it. If you have a line of 20 basketball players, from NBA level to somebody who can't make a layup, how do you create equality? How do you create equality in that line? You have to bring everybody down to the lowest player. 
you can't make the worst basketball player as good as, as the best basketball player. So the only way to create equality is to drag everyone down to the lowest common denominator. That same psychology applies to government, it applies to politics, it applies to finances, it applies to ambition, it applies to skill set, it applies to good and evil in people. So if you wanna create equality, you have to drag everyone down to the most evil, the most low level, the biggest criminal, the biggest loser, the least ambitious person. There is no way to create equality of outcome. You can create equality as far as freedom and opportunity, I mean, Jordan Peterson, every right-wing person, depending where you want to get it from, it's been said a million times from Thomas Sowell, you can't create equality of outcome. You can't make the best the worst. The only way to make it equal is to drag the best down to the worst. This is why socialism and communism and left-wing ideology never works, and now you're filling your, uh, your companies with a bunch of gay wonks, basically people who are never satisfied. They're, they're, they don't live off of God or gratefulness they're not happy to be there they don't represent themselves like you know this is who i am i'm an individual i am impressive because of i bring this to the table this is my race this is my gender these are my beliefs this is how i feel i'm gonna drag you down because they're never satisfied so you have to understand i i get that people you know feel different ways politically and that's fine but Socialism, communism, and modern day left wing, I'm not talking about 10 years ago Democratic Party, the modern day Democratic Party is a sinking ship because they want to literally segregate people by race and gender while they're saying they're fighting against segregation and racism. They want to create true equality on all fronts and they don't understand that certain races might excel in certain things. You're, you're not, you might not be smarter than the Asians and, and Jewish people in finances. You, maybe you will, maybe you won't, but like, you can't drag everyone down. Oh, why isn't it equal? Why aren't there more you know, white women in tech? Maybe if you layered the playing field even and you redid everything, you took everything away from everybody, maybe white women aren't interested in tech on a whole. And some are and they can go do well, but you can't create 50, 50, 50, 50% 50 everywhere and just think it's all gonna be flat equal. The only way to do that is to drag everybody down to the lowest common denominator. So even though the, the, the bittersweet uh, hilariousness of YouTube and Budweiser and Gillette is that they're gonna spend the next four years pandering towards the LGBT community and they're going to get dragged down and crushed by the LGBT community like Carlos Maza. You can bend over backwards or bend over uh, literally for these people and they will never be satisfied. Vox is on strike today and Carlos Maza thinks YouTube doesn't give an F about queer creators. Hilarious. Um, so YouTube had a response to this. We'll, we'll get into it. Thanks everyone who's joining late. Well, you can watch the video back. It's a fun one. So YouTube's response at first, they said that they weren't going to uh, do anything about Crowder. Let me, dear Lord, this dude just doesn't stop writing. Uh, where do I? All right. So YouTube said at first, thanks again for taking the time. He, he did like 40 tweets. I'm not reading them all. Thanks for taking the time to share all this information with us. We take allegations of harassment very seriously. We know this is important uh, and impacts a lot of people. Our team spent the last few days conducting an in-depth review of the video flagged to us. And while we have found language that was clearly hurtful, the video as posted don't, po don't vo violate our policies. Get better grammar team, YouTube. We've included more info below and explain this decision. As an open platform, it's crucial for us to allow everyone from creators to journalists, to late night TV hosts, to express their opinions within the scope of our policies. Opinions can be deeply offensive, but if they don't violate our policies, they'll remain on our site. Even if a video remains on our site, it doesn't mean we endorse support that viewpoint. We get it, gay YouTube. No, I'm just joking, um, but I'm not. There are other aspects of the channel that we're still evaluating. We'll be in touch with further updates. So Gay Wonk was uh, furious by this. What do you mean you're going to leave the video up? I'm getting harassed here, hey? And they, they, they got too much pressure from one gay guy. So they said, <laughs> update on our continued. What do you mean? I'm Gay Wonk. What are you talking about? You have to change everything for my... <laughs> All right, sorry. That was annoying, but pretty funny. Updated on our continued review, we have suspended this channel's monetization. We came to this decision because of a pattern of egregious actions has harmed the broader community and is against our YouTube partner policies. More here. So upon further review, 
they bent the knee to the one gay guy. Um, all right, so I guess, I guess they changed their minds because of one gay wonk. And uh, I'm going to read this now. This is YouTube's hate speech policy by Barnes Law, Robert Barnes. Uh, he said, a new protected class by YouTube. Those now immune from criticism due to their immigration status. That's right. The hate speech policy of YouTube, I'm going to read it. Hate speech is not allowed on YouTube. We remove content promoting violence or hatred against individuals or groups based on any following attributes. Age, caste, disability, ethnicity, gender identity, nationality, race, immigration status, religion, gender, orientation, sexual orientation, victors, victims of a major violent event and their kin, veteran status. So you can't even Tell, say something about someone's immigration status. That's considered hate speech. So you have to understand, I've never cared about illegal immigrants very much. I'm not the police. I'm not ICE. I'm not a president. I'm not a politician. It's not my, it's not my job, okay? I'm not, if I want to do that, I'll, I'll do that. But it is the president's job and lawmakers, and it's allowed to have an opinion that agrees with the law. Like if, if you say, Speeding is against the law and I'm like, hey, that person's speeding and they're like, that's hate speech. You can't agree with the law. It's called an illegal immigrant. It means millions upon tens of millions upon hundreds of millions of people are trying to get into the United States legally and certain people break the law to get into the United States. But now if you say that, according to YouTube, that's hate speech. So you're not even allowed to talk about someone's immigration status. Victims of a major violent event and their kin. Why is this bad? Well, because of David, he who must not be named Hog, uh, you can't really talk about him or they'll delete everything. They use this, so a violent event happens and then they pick a puppet from the violent event and they say, this is now the leader of the Democratic Party. It's a 17 year old who was in the building. And then he starts, everybody, blah, blah, blah. and then you're like, hey, I don't agree with that. And they're like, banned, banned. Banned. So now the Democratic Party and others, they use kids and victims of events to push the same agenda that they want to push. But now, instead of being able to disagree with them, they say, no, 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 this is our leader now. You can't disagree with him. He's underage. He's a victim of an event. So YouTube is literally becoming psychotically um, ridiculous, like Orwellian. But I don't mind because it's only going to backfire on them. They're literally going to ruin their entire website over one gay guy. I, I'm just gonna keep repeating that because I think it's funny. Who took down YouTube? Was it, was it Goliath? Was it David? Was it the Russians? Was it the Chinese? Was it the Republicans? No, nope, it was one gay guy. That's all it took to take, that's all, that's all it takes to take down any, any company, any liberal company can literally be destroyed overnight, trillions of dollars, hundreds of year worth of probably doing illegal activities and working with like cartels and, and uh, you know, uh, mafia, just to lose it all to one gay guy in 2019. It's such a shame. Uh, Team YouTube started saying, well, uh, we're gonna let Steven Crowder uh, put his thing back if he takes his t-shirts away. Like, YouTube, what? They're like, well, <laughs> They literally had a tweet that said, if Crowder stops selling t-shirts, they'll let him monetize certain videos. Like, wh wh what is that? I don't, I don't even know where to start, so I'm just gonna leave it alone. It's like, we, it's against our, our policy to say mean things to the gay guy who's really annoying, uh, but you can do it again if you just don't sell shirts there. It's like, dude, do, do you even believe yourself? Like, I would love to sit in on this YouTube meeting of like the most ridiculous losers like at a round table. They're like, so what should we do about this Crowder situation? Well, we should uh, not let him sell t-shirts anymore and then we'll reinstate it. Like who, who was that? It was probably the transgender uh, Pakistani, you know, immigrant who came up with that decision. And she's like, what if we didn't allow him to sell t-shirts and if he didn't not sell not t-shirts on opposite day then we'll maybe not reinstate his channel tomorrow and like everyone knew it was a bad idea and like they're like wait i'm a gay white they're trying to figure out how oppressed they are and they're like well she's a transgender uh amputee refugee uh somalian uh pakistani so 
Let's not. Okay, that's great, Becky. Yeah, we'll we'll go with that idea. That's 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 the one. That's definitely the smartest idea here for sure. You're the best. You get a raise. You're you're so special. Um, the craziest hypocrisy about all of this, if if you thought it could get any more hilarious or worse, is that Carlos Maza has openly called for basically assaulting people on his Twitter. So. Everyone's a fascist pig except for somebody who won't let people make fun of his sexuality and gender Even though that's all he talks about uh, or ethnicity or whatever Here's a tweet from Carlos Maza milk shake them all Humiliate them at every turn make them dread public organizing so Carlos Maza thinks everybody who's right-wing is a white supremacist Tucker Carlson who is probably the best journalist on television even far left progressives that watch, you know, Jimmy Dore and Kyle Kalinske and others, they even know that Tucker Carlson does better work a lot of times than even CNN and MSNBC. Even most far left people understand that Tucker Carlson is the best journalist on, on television by default because he actually does anti-regime change war videos and he, and he does interesting stuff sometimes, but not Carlos Maza, not Gay Wonk. He wants you to physically assault every, I guess, Far right people in England, just throw your milkshakes on them, assault them, humiliate them at every every term, make them dread public organizing, attack them so they can't organize publicly. I'm not a fascist, I'm just a gay Latino. It's ridiculous. I mean, so YouTube is okay with calling to physically assault somebody, calling to uh, uh, not allow them to use the amendment that they probably don't have in England because they're a bunch of gay wonks over there. No, I'm just joking. But, uh, so physical assault, okay. Threats, okay. Calls to violence, okay. As long as it's from the left wing. If you call a gay person gay, even though they're out in the streets talking about how gay they are for a month, it's against hate speech. You can't enforce the law of the United States. You can't talk about illegal immigrants. They're, they're a protected class now. They came here illegally. We'll give them millions of dollars in funding will pay for their lawyer fees will we'll raise hundred million dollar Facebook funds for them but if you tell the truth about their immigration status that is hate speech because we are YouTube we are so honest and so good and and standing up for social justice it's unfathomable how low these people have stooped um, but I'm not surprised I'm just extremely extremely amused so just to wrap it up, the reason YouTube is so awful besides everything I just mentioned is, here's my thing. When you're YouTube or Facebook or Twitter, I understand that you don't want a bunch of hateful people. I understand that you don't want extremists. I understand that you don't want dangerous ideology and violence. I get it. I understand that it's a tough decision to make a rule and say, this is what we won't allow. I understand that. A lot of people don't understand that. And a lot of people think it's easy to run Facebook or Google or Twitter. It's not. Like Biggie Small said, more money, more problems. More social media clout, more problems. It's true. But here's where I differ. I understand it's not easy to make a terms and conditions. But two things. First of all, YouTube and, and Facebook and Google, and, which owns YouTube and Twitter, they have a terms of service that they don't actually follow. They're so dishonest. If I ran these networks, I'd say, these are my rules. If you break it in your right wing, sorry, go use another network. If you break it in your left wing, sorry, use another network. But YouTube and Google and Facebook, these people spend their whole lives sitting in round table meetings, making fun of conservatives and Republicans, pointing the finger. They've lost the art of self-awareness and self-accountability which is the most important thing. So while they're just like, look at all the white supremacists, huh? look how bad they are. They're psychos who don't have any sort of truth or accuracy to them. So they can't even do anything right. They can't follow their own terms and conditions at all. So if you set a terms and conditions, follow your own terms. YouTube doesn't do that. They'll literally change their entire policy for one gay guy. One gay guy, that's all it takes. You don't even need a Trojan horse anymore. You, you don't need an army. You need one gay guy. Send one gay guy to any liberal company and you can destroy it overnight. Just one, that's all, it, that's all you need. The second problem, besides the fact that they don't follow their own policy, is that their policy is psychotic. You can't talk about age, gender, 
sexual orientation, some you can't talk about gender and you can't talk about the lack of someone's gender or them not being the gender that they thought they were. You can't talk about immigration status? What? So now, if my skin is lighter, I, I'm to blame for everything in the under the sun. You can call me a fascist, you can call me a white supremacist, you can call me a racist, you can call me a white nationalist, you can call me anything, even when I'm part Hispanic. You can call me everything under the sun. And if I simply defend myself, I'm a horrible person, but I can't even talk about the immigration status of somebody who's here illegally at all. That's considered hateful. I'm gonna do a whole stream on this before because I've really cracked the code of, of what they're trying to do. I've known it, but, but if you put it in this light, you could see how evil they are. They say that, you know, every, like, they'll, they'll tell white people that they're white and that, that they're horrible and there's tens of thousands of articles against white people. There's tens of thousands of anti-white articles all over mainstream media. So what they're saying is, you're white, that's your race, your race is white. I personally, some people get mad at me and say, I, I identify as white, that's my race. I don't identify as white. Me personally, I identify as Italian, Polish, Puerto Rican, Czechoslovakian, God knows what else. But like, I personally think white is grouping all those in and then they put a negative frame on it. So that's not my identification. However, if you wanna identify as white, you have the right to because they're they're identifying you as white. So they say, you're white, here's your white, and we can nonstop do bad press about you. So they're telling you that's what you are. And then if you fall into that category and you're white and you're proud or happy or you love your, your yourself, they call you a white supremacist. So do you see how evil, even if you're on the left, what they're doing is, you're white, we can only write bad press about you, but any good press or any defense of yourself and your people that we've identified you as is considered white nationalism, white supremacism, or fascism. These people are evil. These people are literally psychotically uh, disconnected from reality, and uh, I pray for them because they've created a matrix where they identify you as something, they think that they can only talk negatively about them, and then if you talk positively, positively about that group, then you're somehow a white supremacist. These people are, are literally psychos. And uh, it gives me great comfort knowing that it only takes one gay guy to destroy any liberal company. So understand, from Budweiser, from Gillette, to the most powerful institutions in the world, the central banks guys don't, I know a lot of people say, Anomaly, talk about the central banks. Anomaly, talk about the cabal of people who run, run the planet. Guys, don't worry. And women, guys and girls, it only takes one gay guy to knock down the whole central bank. Don't worry about it. They've, they've, they've run the United States and had control over the monetary system for a hundred so years, but it only takes one gay guy to ruin everything that they've built. So don't worry about it. Um, overall, YouTube, hope, hopefully, um, I want to say with, with Crowder too, I barely mentioned him. I, uh, I, I, I don't, have a real big opinion on Steven Crowder. I've never been a fan, really. Uh, I'm not a, I'm not a hater to you. You know me, I just stay out of things. But um, I've only watched his show for like an hour total and it, it was to see another guest. I've never been a, a big fan of his. And uh, you know, with this stuff, it's like, I, uh, I, I'm i indifferent. I, I think it's bad what you, YouTube did and they're definitely taking a lot of money away from him, which is awful. But uh, he's got Glenn Beck behind him and uh, I feel a bittersweet way about things like, uh, I, I don't know Crowder's stance, I don't really follow him, but like people like uh, Ben Shapiro, where they kind of throw Roseanne under the bus, they defend James Gunn, they, they're always throwing other conservatives under the bus, like acting like they're the hall monitor. And then when something happens to someone in them, in their organization, they say nothing. Uh, personally, I don't care who you like, if you love Stephen Crowder, you love Ben Shapiro, I don't like to be that person who, who hates on people and tells people who they can and can't like. But I, I, I don't, uh, it's like the, the mainstream conservatives, they always act like the hall monitor and they're like, I will tell the truth, even though they're lying half the time and they're, they're very skewed in, in where they choose to stand up for people. And then when it starts collapsing on them, they're like, no, Glenn Beck, save me, Glenn Beck. Glenn, Glenn Beck's like, I, I've done as much as I can. It's like, I feel a little bittersweet about it, but uh, overall, you know, I think what YouTube's doing is awful. Um, you know, I never want to see people get demonetized and uh, targeted, but I do think also this type of press is very good press as well, and uh, this might end up helping and raising more money. And uh, YouTube, how, like how far are they gonna fall? Are they gonna ruin everything? Uh, are they gonna take, is Facebook gonna follow suit? 
you can't bend your policy over for one gay guy. And uh, it seems like every company in the world is going to bend over to left-wing radicals, whether they be gay, straight, black, white, Hispanic, Muslim, Christian, Jewish, atheist. They're going to bend over backwards for left-wing radicals. And uh, it might get ugly. I might be homeless or uh, lose all my money for a little while. But I, I take solace in knowing the fact that they're all going to collapse. There's no way what they're doing is sustainable. The Democratic Party and the left wing is split into two. There are the far left wing progressives who like Bernie Sanders, who think climate change is the number one issue, even though it's probably not even real when it comes to volcanoes. The narrative around the sun and the moon, it's pretty much all a lie in my personal perspective. So when they wake up and realize that their, their top three concerns are something that doesn't exist because the earth is powerful and what's going on in this universe is not what they told us it was and we, we really don't have that much control. Uh, their second issue is like socialism, communism, and big government, which will obviously backfire because of all the reasons I said earlier. And then you have the Democratic Party who spent two years worrying about the Mueller report, believing CNN and MSNBC when it was a lie. And then Mueller's like, wait, it might be true. He did that so they can continuously lie to people. There's nothing going on good on the left wing anymore. And I'm, I'm all for social justice. I'm all for equality. I'm all for welfare programs that work. I'm all for the poor. I don't particularly like the Republican Party. I find a lot of them fraudulent. Uh, Donald Trump's not the be all end all. I, I understand he has flaws and, and maybe his personality is off putting, but uh, there's nothing for me on the left wing. I'm sorry. There's no good social justice anymore. There's no good policies. And uh, they're going to ruin every single company because it's like a battle of delusion on the left wing. It's like, my delusion, no, 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 my delusion is realer, no, my, and they just keep getting angrier and angrier. They're like, they won't talk about climate change, the Democratic Party, and then they're like, whoa, whoa, it's like, holy sharks, just, just, just listening to them for five minutes uh, uh, kind of makes my nerves feel bad. So overall, it only takes one gay guy to take down YouTube and the central banks. Uh, Gay Wonk, Carlos Maza, literally ruined thousands of pe millions upon billions of dollars for thousands of content creators. A bunch of news people are getting targeted now. Uh, gamers are getting targeted. Everybody on YouTube is pissed at one gay guy. So we're all kind of uniting left and right, black and white, gaming, politics. Everybody doesn't like this one gay guy. And uh, that's what happens. It has nothing to do with your sexual orientation, has nothing to do with your political preference, has nothing to do with the fact that you're Hispanic, it has everything to do with you've probably been that guy that nobody liked forever, and now you're taking that and destroying Western civilization with your with your awfulness. So good luck, God bless you. And I just want to say to my followers and my supporters, never threaten anybody, never harass anybody. Never send threats to anybody. That stuff is disgusting, and that means you're 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 a disgusting person for doing that. And it's it's not easy to do what Carlos does or anyone does, which is make videos and put yourself out in the public. So I I don't don't just 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 enjoy your day. Don't even talk to this guy. And um, that's pretty much it. We'll move on. I'm I'm one hilarious joke and one video, one great video away from being broke. I don't have Glenn Beck behind me. I don't have. Fox News behind me, none of the big conservative money. They act like I don't exist, even though I helped blow half of them up and, uh, you know, obviously can do what they do. Um, but it's okay. I'll do it on my own. I like it better that way. Uh, so just just support me. If, if my channel goes down, please help me because I don't, I don't have Glenn Beck or any donors to help me. I'll, 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 uh, I'll be broke very fast. Uh, but it's all good. Jokes aside, I'm, we're having fun here. Um, 